Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel once again and today I'm going to make a tutorial about how to make an ocean in Blender 2.9 and today our goal is to make something similar to this on your exact own since this is a step-by-step -step tutorial and I figure it won't be too difficult if you're not a beginner if you're a beginner I suggest you to watch some simpler tutorials for Blender beginners and I bet it's going to be an easy journey for you so this is what we're going to create today and hopefully we're going to make a move uh, we're going to make the texture of it we're going to make the waves with it and without further ado let's start to do this first of all let's create a new blender file just like the exact same thing that you start your blender and let's delete our directional light which is useless and let's keep our camera and don't forget to never delete your default cube, which is the most important scene of Blender forever. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. And instead, don't delete it. Let's change it to an ocean modifier over here in the physics. First of all, we can see a bunch of settings already. If you click that, and your cube suddenly turns into a plane. And let's go to your view like this. First of all, you can see this these two settings, which you might think to repeat, what does that mean? Uh, basically this works the same as array, which you can do this and I will uh, increase the identical piece in the X and the Y axis, which is pretty useful if you wanna make a large scale ocean. And for the resolution, it basically increases uh, vertices and others of these settings, of the simulation, which is actually really useful as well uh, later on in this video. And time is how you change the waves, which I'm going to show later in the animation. Now let's first of all check in the waves. Let's do what? Are, uh, what about 2.9, 4.9? Me, that actually looks pretty good, except for the overlapping edges, which we can solve by using choppiness, 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 choppiness. Okay, choppiness. Very cool. And now you can see we made an ocean wave already. Um, I'm gonna maybe increase this more. Actually, two is good enough. And we already made an ocean. Now the second part is to make it move with the timeline. Instead, if you play it now, it will probably just look like a model or a sculpture or something, which does not even work at all. And don't even try to do that on your first try. I mean, that's just like a mistake. And I'll probably put that in my funny montages if I have them. <laughs> first of all, let's just mess around with time. And by the way, depths is like, this makes the depths and sizes increase the size or not, which is actually, you don't need to mess around with the settings until you need to make large waves and things, which I'm going to do point a3 nice now we can do uh generally generate neurons now let's actually do the time first first of all go to the 20 25th frame and keyframe it and at 250 do uh, about 40 frames and then keyframe it but if you play this animation right now, as you can see, it might speed up and slow down in your simulation, which is actually really weird. To disable that problem, we need to go to our graph editor, which I really pronounce it very weird because I actually don't know how to say graph editor. Like, no, 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 not, not like that. It's just like graph editor. What? What is that? It's actually sound like a cyborg or something. What? As you can see, this is a keyframe that we set up this back then and in the past. And as you can see, this is not a straight line. So this animation will speed up and slow down. Instead, we can click T and click linear to make it all straight. And if we play it again, it would not be faster or slower, which is actually pretty nice. Now it's time for texturing once again. And yes, let's go to materials and name this ocean mat one. 
and let's name this ocean. What about um and first of all, let's decrease the roughness one three. That actually looks really nice if you come close. I, yeah, actually, let's do the material editing of close. Now let's do I O R one point three three. That looks kind of nice. And transmission, let's do it fall to make a kind of glassy feeling, water feeling. Very nice. And that's all these settings we're going to mess with so far. And yeah, later we're going also going to change the colors, which makes a better ocean. But this is how this is a problem happening in the viewport display and Eve and the uh, shader and not in the shader exactly in the rendered view so instead we don't want that to happen and we want to go to color environmental texture at first it might look really um weird so don't try to do that instead let's um pour our hdri which i found in hdri haven which is actually pretty good to find hdri backgrounds for your simulations and things by the way, for this video, I'm going to disable the background to make it transparent for you guys to see a better example. And what I love about uh, transparent is that the background is deleted at kind of nice grids, which move with your camera and you keep the lighting, which is one of my favorite parts. Now let's actually try to make the foam out of this ocean. And by that, let's go to the ocean and enable foam first and make a uh, data layer aka the name of the foam which we'll name it foam very easy and let's go to shading which is one of my least favorite tabs in blender's history and let's edit shading a little bit more first of all let's add in uh, a mixed shader and then let's add an animation shader which i was about to say and connect the emission to the other shader. Let's drag this here. And then we can put, as you can see, without the other modifiers, this just looks empty, just like, what, heaven? I don't know. Uh, I actually think that looks like snow more than anything. It's just snowish water. Weird, okay. Let's just mess with the uh, attributes now, which is actually, it attributes to the foam that we created. Now, if you just only do attribute, it actually creates a really nice and kind of painful to look rainbowish color. If you want to make a rainbow, I guess that's your choice. Connect attribute with emission. Very cool. You can also upgrade the emission to make more like contrast, which I'm going to name this foam. Something magical will happen in 3, 2, 1. Look, it changes exactly to our original one. And you can increase the strings to show your foams nice but now you can see this is really weird instead it doesn't have any real subdivisions or resolutions as you call it so we're going to go to layout once again and this is where i tell you to do the resolution resolution let's do a 230 this might like my computer a little bit but i believe it will go through yep not responding very cool what about let's just get some like donuts or something <laughs> very nice okay now it's finished as you can see as we finish this ocean uh it looks way better and it has way more details um anyways it's still look kind of plain so why don't we just go back to our shading and add some colors to the ocean actually these already uh these foams and things actually look really nice already but for this video's sake, I'm going to do base color and something like green or blue. If you're a fan of blue, do blue. If you're a fan of green, do green. Yeah, that's on your choice. Uh, blue actually, uh, you know what? Actually, they have some issues with the resolution on 30, but far away, this look pretty nice. Instead, don't look up close. If you want a uh, complete accuracy on resolution, you need to do it like, 50 or something which is actually going to kill my computer maybe you can try on a better gpu one like by nvidia or something and which probably is going to help you a lot 
in your journey making CGI stuff like Blender and stuff. Cool. Actually, let's decrease uh, screens, kind of. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. And let's also give you an idea of what other colors look like. Green looks like this. Very actually, I prefer green way more than blue. Um, we also have yellow, which is a color of uranium, which is not the word I'm going to say. So that was a U N R. Okay, don't say that. And this look like blood, which I don't like. Kind of like it's a clown, which is a clown bitting the children's hand. But oh my god, I don't want to talk about that. This look purplish. This look. This is a blue one. This is kind of aqua. This is actually really cool and my favorite color once again. Actually, let's just leave it to aqua. Aqua looks very nice. By the way, this is the end of the tutorial. If you like this, be sure to uh, leave a like. And if you find this useful, be sure to leave a like or turn on the notification if any new videos come out. And by the way, let's hope for no crashing and let's increase okay let's increase this for 50 let's see let's see let's see if this crashes much much later by the way thank you guys for joining me in this video and i will see you guys next time bye